Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to edit an image in Microsoft Paint. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Microsoft Paint, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about creating an image in Microsoft Paint, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to introduce you to editing an image in Microsoft Paint. First of all, I'm going to open Microsoft Paint from the Windows Programs list. Click Start, Windows Accessories, and then Paint. Now that Microsoft Paint is open, I'm going to open a file that I've created previously. File Menu. Open. You can see an open dialog box. If I go to this PC, my documents folder, you can see two images, sample file hyphen house and shapes and text. I'm going to open shapes and text. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to click on open. Here you can see my shapes and here you can see my text. First of all, I'm going to move this square from here to here. To do that, I need to click on the Select tool. I need to left click and drag to select the shape. I'm going to left click and drag to move the shape across the canvas. I'm going to move it down here. Once I'm satisfied with its position, I can left click outside of the selection to deselect it. Now if I want to copy this and I need to paste one over here, then I have to left click and drag to select this and then I have to click on copy. Then I have to click outside of the selection to deselect the command. Now to paste it, I need to go to Home tab, and then I'm going to click on Paste. You can see that a copy of this square is in the top left hand of the canvas. If I move the square by left clicking and dragging, I'm going to move it over here, back to its original position. So here you can see the copy of the square, and here you can see the original square. You can do this with text, shapes, and other drawings. So if I demonstrate that to you with the top line of have a nice day, I'm going to select it by left clicking and dragging. Now that it is selected, I'm going to go to the home tab, and I'm going to click on copy. I'm going to click outside the selection to deselect the command. Then I'm going to go to the Home tab, and I'm going to click on Paste. You can see that the text has been pasted in the top left hand corner of the canvas. If I move the text towards here, and I click outside the selection, the command will be deselected. Now if I select the bottom line, and I click on Cut, it will cut that part of the text from this part of the canvas and I can paste it anywhere else on the canvas where I want. Let me show you that. I'm going to select it by left clicking and dragging and then I'm going to click on cut. You can see that the text has been cut from the canvas and if I want to paste it somewhere I have to click on home tab and then on paste now you can see that the text is in the top left hand corner of the canvas. I'm going to move this text to over here and I'm going to click outside the text to deselect it. Let me delete this shape. I'm going to do that by left clicking and dragging to select it. I'm going to go to home tab, select, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to click on delete. So this will delete the selection. 
going to click on it, you can see that the selection has been deleted. The same can be done by pressing the delete key on the keyboard. I'm going to show you by deleting this circle. I'm going to left click and drag to select this circle and then I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard. You can see that the circle has disappeared. Now I'm going to create a text box. So to do that I need the text tool. Here is the text tool, the big A. If I click on it, the text tool is active. If I left click and drag, I can create a text box. I'm going to create one this big. And I'm going to, first of all, click on opaque. So what this does is it makes color 2 the background of this text box. So if I turn it on opaque, the background is currently white. So if I change color 2 by clicking on it, and then clicking on one of the colors on this color palette, for example, lime, you can see that the background color of the text box is lime. If I click back on color 1, because color 1 is the text color, and I'm going to keep it as black, I'm going to type better days are on their way. I'm not going to format this text at all. Now I'm going to click outside this text box to deselect the command. Now if I click on select and I click on the down arrow and if we go down to the drop down list you can see transparent selection. I'm going to click on it and if we select this text and then we try to move it by left clicking and dragging you can see that the text moves by itself without any background on it. You can see that the background stays right there. Let me move the text over here. And if I deselect the text by clicking outside the selection. Now I'm going to save this file. To do that I have to click on file menu. Save. Now it is saved. I'm going to open another file to edit it. File menu, open. If I go to this PC, my documents folder, here you can see the sample file house image. If I click on that and I click on open, you can see that the image is opened on the canvas. I'm going to click on the select tool and I'm going to click on the down arrow because there's no text in this image I'm going to uncheck transparent selection now transparent selection is unchecked now let's start by editing this so I'm going to left click and drag to select this roof so selected most of the roof and if I left click and drag to move it away from the house you can see that the roof moved away by itself and the house is still there. If I click outside the selection it will be deselected and if I want to bring the roof back to the top of the house I have to select the roof again by left clicking and dragging. I have to move it to on top of the house by clicking and dragging once you let go of left click and drag it's placed and if you want you can move it again I'm going to move it slightly upwards then I'm going to click outside the selection to deselect it you can see that it's not directly on the house anymore that's because our selection wasn't perfect if we want to we can start moving the sun by left clicking and dragging to select it and then we can move the sun about I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to click outside the selection to deselect the command. Now I'm going to enter some text into this picture. 
going to click on this text tool. Now I'm going to create a text box by left clicking and dragging. Now I'm going to type Greenville House. I'm going to shorten the text box so Greenville and House are on separate lines. Here you can see that the text has been made. If we want, we can move the text just like we did with the shapes. So if I show you by clicking on Select tool, and if I left click and drag to select house and I move it so it's just below Greenville so there's less gap between the lines and I click outside of the selection to deselect the command you can see that the text has moved now let me save this file menu save I'm going to close Microsoft Paint In my future videos, I'll be posting basic tutorials on Paint 3D and then games. I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about the video, or if you would like to get links for all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortechcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!